In this lesson, I want to explore the functionality and usage of Azure Blueprints. Now, very often, we're going to have a certain configuration that I want to be able to apply maybe to multiple different subscriptions. And I can think about this idea of a blueprint of what we want to apply. Now, this can consist of a number of different types of artifacts. Now, if we think about how do we create things? Well, we create things in resource groups. And how do we ideally create things? Well, we apply ARM templates. Now, when we create those things, it's very common we want to apply some kind of role-based access control, so a role assignment. And we also may want to apply policy to have certain controls. And I can all have multiple instances of these objects. So a blueprint is a collection of these types of artifacts. Creation of resource groups, deployment of ARM templates, and then I can assign role-based access control and policy to help control. And then I assign this to a subscription. So I have a subscription. And what I'm now going to do is assign that blueprint. Now, when I do that assignment, I have a number of different options for that. I might say, I want to put this blueprint in place, but then I don't really care what they do. They could go and modify all of those things. So I could say, don't lock. I don't care what happens after I've assigned the blueprint. They could delete the stuff, change it, completely up to them. I might say, do you know what? I don't want them to delete it, but they can modify. So I could say, do not delete. Or I could say, I don't want you to change anything about what I assigned with this blueprint, in which case I could set it to read only. So I have these options for how I assign the blueprint. When I assign a blueprint, I actually have different versions. I have version control on my blueprint, and then I publish it when I'm ready. And I can update that assignment with whatever changes I've made. Now, to protect the assignment of the blueprint and enforce this, because often people might be owners of this subscription. So ordinarily, they'd be able to override what I do. So blueprints are the one time we commonly see deny assignments. So the way it enforces this is actually a deny assignment that I cannot override even if I'm the owner of that particular subscription. I would have to either change the blueprint or unassign the blueprint from that target subscription. So if we jump over and look at this, we can quickly search for our blueprints. I've created a very simple definition. And all I've done is really demonstrate the different types. So I'm assigning a policy. We can see here I've got a policy assignment, apply a tag and its default value. I then create a resource group. I then assign an RBAC, giving this network admins group the contributor role, and I assign an ARM template. Now again, I could create multiple resource groups with different types of resource inside and different policies and different RBAC. This is just a very, very simple one. You can see I have published versions, so I've modified them, and I can update those assignments. And then we actually have the idea of, well, I can assign that blueprint, or I could see existing ones I already have. Now, when I do that assignment, I get to pick how do I want to assign it. So I pick the target subscription, I pick the version that I want to apply, but then we have that idea of the lock assignment. Default is don't lock, i.e. they could modify, delete, whatever I do. But I could also say, hey, you can change it, but don't delete it, or make it read only. And again, these are all at the ARM control plane level. It doesn't impact the data plane. So if I had a storage account I created, for example, and said, read only, well, they can't modify the properties of the storage account, but they can still go and interact with blobs and create blobs and delete blobs and all of those other things. So this is the idea of a blueprint. 
It's the ability to define a configuration that I can then stamp down on multiple different subscriptions, either as just a starter set that they can then do what they want with, or maybe there's a core set of resources I want there, and I maybe don't want them to change it or just don't want them to delete it. So all of that is possible with blueprints.